from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Well, it was a beautiful day out there. For the most part, we had sunshine, and that made our temperatures jump right up the thermometer, 66 degrees. It was one of those days where you could roll the windows down, turn the radio up, and have the sunglasses ready without a jacket. Shorts and t-shirts highly recommended out there still at this hour. 42 was the low, so it was a warm start. High temperatures across the region, everybody in the 60s from Thermont over to Aberdeen, all the way down towards Annapolis, looking pretty good. 67 degrees down there today, and it's still in the 60s at this hour, despite the cloud cover. 62, it feels like 62. A little moisture out there. The dew point is up around 39 degrees, and we're still dealing with a south-southwesterly breeze at 7 miles per hour. That's what's dragging in this warmer air. There is a little bit of cool air now showing up here on the board. 55 in Bel Air, 56 in Edgewood, 53 with our friends up there in Jarrettsville as well as Moncton. And then down the eastern shore we go. Temperatures in the 50s right now from Centerville up to Chestertown over to Rock Hall, Stevensville, Graysonville, seeing those temperatures in the 50s at the moment. The cold stuff it's still out there in the mountains, and that's where the cold front is. And that cold front's going to slowly but surely swing through here during the overnight hours. So we're still dealing with those gracious southwesterly breezes, bringing us that taste of spring, keeping those temperatures in the 60s. But eventually, these will change out of the northwest and bring down this cold air. Now, it's not going to be as cold as what you're seeing out there in Minnesota or Wisconsin, but we will get back into the 30s and 40s here as we get towards tomorrow into the day on Sunday and even into the beginning of next week. We also have a little storm system out here towards Missouri that's going to skirt by to the south. Right now, it's putting down some hefty snows across Missouri as well as northern portions of western Tennessee and western Kentucky dealing with a little bit of an icy mix. This skirts us to the south, so once again, no need to cancel our plans. We're just worried about this cold front that's going to work through here overnight tonight. A dot to dot sprinkle that you see on the board, but most of us get away dry. So once again, no need to cancel the plants. Future cast as we put everything in the motion. There's the snow right there on the edge of your screen down towards La Plata, Waldorf, Crisfield. That's how far south it's going to be tomorrow down across southern portions of Maryland. And it's gone as we get into the afternoon hours. It's by Sunday that we're worried about a late wintry mix working back into the picture here as we get towards the afternoon and evening hours. We'll deal with rain and snow, but not much in the way of accumulations because of the warm conditions today and even temperatures above freezing tomorrow. That will really help our cause. And then we'll get a break on Monday, and then things will start to go again as we get towards Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week with another mixed bag of precipitation developing across the area. So Saturday, stay south. Wednesday and Thursday, the bigger event. No need to cancel the plants. 34 tonight, an early sprinkle. A few flurries, clouds in the afternoon, much colder. And then by Sunday, some late day rain and snow across the region. Your seven day forecast, not much in the way of roller coaster rides here, but late day rain and snow on Sunday. Once again, no worries. Best bet for accumulation if we were to see any would be north and west of the city. 46 on Monday, dry Tuesday, then a bigger problem there as we get towards Wednesday and Thursday of next week with temperatures in the upper 30s and lower 40s with another shot at a wintry mix developing across the area.